Hello everyone. In this corona pandemic, we all have tried different methods to increase our immunity. We all know that if our immunity is strong, then even if germs enter our body, they can get easily destroyed. But who gives us immunity? Who continuously fights in our body against germs? It's nothing but the specific blood cells which continuously gives us immunity. In this video, let's learn about the different blood cells, their functions, and how they provide us immunity. Blood. It is made up of two parts. One is plasma, which is a straw color liquid, and second is blood cells. The blood cells are present inside the plasma. Hence, plasma and blood cells together makes blood. The blood cells are of three types. The first is the red blood cells, also called as erythrocytes. Second, white blood cells, also called as leukocytes. And third, platelets also called as thrombocytes. Functions of the blood cells. Let's start with RBC, also called as red blood cells or erythrocytes. We all know that oxygen is a very important molecule for life. When we breathe in, the oxygen enters the lungs. From there, the oxygen is taken up by the RBC and it is transported through the bloodstream to all the organs of the body. The organs in turn releases carbon dioxide, which is again taken up by the RBC and it is transported back to the lungs. From the lungs, the carbon dioxide is exhaled out. Platelets or thrombocytes. If a person gets injured, blood starts coming out from the wounds. The blood loss can increase if the wound is not sealed. This healing of wound is done by the platelets. During injury, the blood vessel is ruptured and the blood cells start coming out from the ruptured vessel. As this happens, a series of events takes place. The platelets become activated and they stick to the cut edges of the vessel. A platelet plug is formed and the internal bleeding stops. Next, thin strands called as fibrin sticks together and seal the inside of the wound. Slowly, the ruptured blood vessel heals and the blood clot dissolves after a few days. White blood cells or leukocytes. The white blood cells are of five types. Lymphocyte, neutrophil, basophil, monocyte, and eosinophil. The neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil have granules in their cytoplasm. White blood cells are the blood cells which fight against the pathogens, which are the disease causing organisms, and hence provides immunity. Out of these five types, monocyte and neutrophils are also called as phagocytic cells, as these are the cells which can easily digest or eat the pathogens. The lymphocyte also plays an important role in providing immunity. So let us now understand in detail how does the white blood cell kills pathogen and provides immunity. WBC protects our body. Every pathogen like bacteria, virus or fungi has antigen presence on their outer surface. Antigen are foreign substances which causes an immune response when entered in the body. When a pathogen enters the body, it is encountered by a special type of WBC called as the phagocytic cell. The phagocytic cell will digest the pathogen 
and after digestion, the phagocytic cell presents the fragments of the antigen on its surface. These fragments of antigen are identified by the helper T cell. The helper T cell is a type of lymphocyte. The helper T cell now activates another type of lymphocyte called as the B lymphocyte. On activation, the B lymphocyte will start producing antibodies. Antibodies are also called as immunoglobulins. Large number of antibodies are produced for the particular antigen. And the antibodies are going to bind to the antigens of the pathogen. This is called as an antigen antibody complex. This antigen antibody complex is like a lock and a key mechanism. As for different locks, you require different keys. Similarly, for different type of antigen, different antibodies are produced. The antibody makes the antigen useless to cause any diseases in the body. The antigen antibody complex further increases the chances of digestion of the pathogen by the phagocytic cells. And hence, more number of pathogens are killed by the WBC. So this is the way how the WBC kills the pathogen and gives us immunity. If you find this video informative, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.